What's up? It's your girl Nisha Marie and I am back with another mother, 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 mother video, video. Welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time here, my name is Nisha Marie and we're like officially friends now. So before you go ahead and watch any more of this video, go ahead and Click the subscribe button and a thumbs up. Well, I guess you could wait to the end to see if you really like it. The thumbs it up, but leave your comments or whatever, okay? So do all that stuff that YouTubers be telling y'all to do. I bought the new Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation and it was like a whole story trying to go ahead and get that done. Um, but I wanna go ahead and guys give you guys my feedback. I'm gonna like split the screen here. And so we could go into the details of this so the Stay Naked Foundation, and actually, and, and let me just put it out now, I actually only got the foundation. I didn't get the concealer because I tried the concealer in the store and it did nothing for me, girl. So, so I first went and I got the 70WY, as you can see. And let me tell y'all, that was way, way, way too yellow like it was really yellow again with really yellow based um foundations i could cut finesse it like with my bronzers and if i do contour just to kind of add dimension but nevertheless it was too yellow so basically the way that they have the whole system for the urban decay stay naked foundation they have different ranges um as far as like shade matching right so let me actually look like I know what I'm talking about so basically with the Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation they designed this lineup of 50 shades with nine shade intensities three master tones and seven undertones to dial into your precise color match so I thought this concept was pretty cool breaking it down um, its claims are that it's waterproof long wear foundation feels like wearing nothing Thanks to a breathable, flexible formula, it moves with you all day. So towards the end of the video, you're going to see how true that is. Um, and it even looks better with its stay true color, which minimizes the appearance of pores. So you always look like you. Um, and again, 100% cruelty free. So all that stuff is cute. So basically, with the three master tones, they have cool, yellow, no, what do they have? Basically... I went ahead and I got the 70 WY, stands for warm yellow, so warm master tone yellow undertone. And so I went with that color. 70 is definitely my range, but as I kind of saw, as I was applying the foundation, that it was way too yellow. So again, I was able to finesse it, um, but it was just a little bright. But you'll be able to see throughout the video, just to wear for the day, how I was able to make it look. This is the final look, very subtle. Um, and so I finished my face off camera, obviously. Everything that I use will be linked down below. It is now 10, 11. I'm gonna get started with my day and I'll just be doing, I can't promise like two or three hour check-ins, but I'll be checking out throughout the day and really see if this bad gal really lives up to the claim. All right, I am at the, uh, shit, my hand. What's it called? Oh my God. I am community <laughs> mentorship meetup. Yes, we are. And this is my lovely bae, Wawa. Say hi. Hey, guys. Hello. Yes. Let's see the shirt. I am yes. the baby here. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Help me. Hi. So, really quick in between, I'm doing like a foundation wear test. And so I want you to give me your honest in-person feedback on how the foundation looks. Okay. Nobody, look at my foundation. How oh, your foundation? Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. I see the glow. You see the glow? Yes, I see with the makeup that she has on right now. Now, yeah, sorry. It, it, sorry, it, 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 it enhances her beauty. <laughs> it enhances, I'm being, I'm being honest. It's enhancing her beauty. It's very nice. Who's so, in your makeup? Uh, Urban Decay. Is Urban there, Decay. Yeah, their Stay Naked Foundation. Right. But here's the thing, really quick. I was kind of iffy about the color, how it looks. It looks nice. It lives in with her complexion. Okay. I love it. It's in her brows. Try Urban Decay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
you guys this is a quick check in it is now 140 i don't know if you'll be able to see Ugh, let me put my freaking bag down first of all 140 okay you won't be able to see but just take my word for it so it's 140 doing the check-in it's been about what three hours seven twelve one yeah just about three hours now i am starting to see oil peek through but it looks pretty good this sun is kind of harsh keep that highlight though eh. but um it's holding up pretty well oh i can't get the right lighting oh look at it oh look at all this oil <gasps> oh, but it looks pretty but my oils are really peeking through but i wanted to do a quick check-in with you all and I'm really loving the event. I'm on outside on the patio. It's really nice. I got the pool deck. Um, but the event is inside. I've been getting some very great information. But yeah, so just want to do a check-in. Bye. Oh, oh. Stuck with this. So you guys, I am just now leaving the event. Um, the I Am Community Mentor Meetup meet event and it was absolutely incredible. My gosh, you guys. Thank you, them. So this is, uh, y'all, a seven hour check-in. Wait, let me make sure I can count. Yeah, seven hour check-in. So I'm not gonna lie, I did block a little bit. I did. The oils were like this protruding and I was just like, oh. I had to dab, but it still looks pretty good um yeah oh so side note y'all so i'm really excited because guess what i won a raffle okay i won um a raffle and i got to get um a two night free stay at the aloft hotel um via the marriott uh and i'm just so excited the reason why i want to share this is because you know it's really powerful what you think what you speak because i had i haven't really won raffles before like that um and so with this one when you know they said oh a raffle for this i was just so excited i had my ticket and i was just like believing for it like the thought i literally felt the thought wanting to creep in like oh i never win these and I, and I stopped it i was like no i'm gonna put out good energy and so she read through like three tickets because people laughed and so they didn't claim it and so the last one she read i was like ah ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> so um i'm getting excited all over again more so of course you know bringing like a little staycation but also just really just you know keeping my mindset positive and just really putting out good energy and uh yes yeah, so i did like a little praise dance and stuff i was so excited so i just wanted to share that but yeah this is after seven hours of wear so yeah bye all right ladies so Reese Ball Foundation no longer here. Just I almost look kind of green. So weird. But it is now 11:55. Oh, hold on. So it's now 11:55. 11:56 actually. So that is over 12 hours of foundation wear yeah and um yeah i'm going to move here i mean be that as it may it was very very hot today like in the high 90s here in south florida so my makeup does not look great it's like literally wiping off but yeah this is after a 12 hour day and so i was just a little bit uneasy about the color now to me i always kind of struggle to find like the right undertones because in my face like without makeup the center is like really yellow the outer parts is red in my body it it pulls more red at different times of the year and i feel like right now during the summer it's pulling more red so I decided to go back to Urban Decay and one of the associates there was telling me to get C, um, 70 CB which is for cool blue and I'm like cool blue like no that is not it um, so I went back 
today and I actually got the um, 70 WR so it's warm red now I try to stray away from red undertone um, not that it's necessarily bad but a lot of foundations they do oxidize so by the end of the day you're just looking real orange and just really really red it's just not attractive um, however I felt like the 70 WR um, really looks good like it i didn't feel like it oxidized then again i've only had this on for a short period of time but i felt like it definitely had a much better like blend in with my skin and um really compliments me so maybe right now during the summertime when it's really hot this will be the best color maybe i can transition to 70r during the fall and winter we'll be able to see because again i live in florida so we don't really have real winters <laughs> so the weather changes just a sad bit but you know we are the sunshine state for a reason so um i wanted to just go ahead and show you guys um just the finished product and this is uh you're gonna be seeing like three different tones on me but this is the 70 wr which i think is my great shade so just, that is my final feedback on the new urban decay stay naked foundation i do recommend this even though i was an oil slick okay you could fry an egg on my face by the end of the day yesterday Yesterday was a very long day out, in and out of the heat here in South Florida. So I'm cutting in some slack. Plus, I used the Trisha Cloth Primer and, you know, that with heat, it eh, probably didn't fare well. In fact, I actually got the new Fenty Beauty Mattifying Primer. So I'm kind of curious to see how that will play out with this. Um, right now, I'm actually wearing the foundation with no primer, sis. I'm wearing no primer right now. And my face actually looks much better than it did like like five hours in yesterday um, when I wore it for the full day. So that's pretty good. But again, we will see. But I do think this is a good buy. I do wish that this was in a glass casing. That's the only thing. It'll make the bottle feel a little bit more luxurious and compensate for the $39 price tag. But nevertheless, if you are on the market for a new foundation, girl, go ahead and give this a try. Okay? All right. I promise you, you probably won't be disappointed. Probably. I would say 95%. <laughs> sure you won't be disappointed anyways that's all for now i hope you enjoyed the video go ahead and subscribe and click the like button if you did um and i will definitely see you back to my next one and so stitches i want you to remember you gotta stay bad stay beautiful and stay stush till next time bye hot girl summer hot girl summer <laughs> Oh, that sucks. I'm gonna play around with this product very much, so, or, or much more. I can't speak, apparently. Gosh, I can't get this right. So let me know down below if there are any products that you would like for me to give your, uh, or give my feedback on this box.